All right, man, let's talk some Michigan football, man. It's been some, quite some time, so I got to get back on you know, my Michigan grind, man, during the offseason. But Jim Harbaugh says that the Michigan Wolverine football program is on the cusp of playoffs and national title contention. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Check our college sports playlist for more videos like this. And you know what? I agree with him. You know what I'm saying? I think uh, some of his coaching decisions is kind of holding the program back a little bit. Um, but a lot of times Michigan is at the point where they just been a quarterback away. I mean, they got the, uh, the receivers, Nico Collins, and, uh, I think Tyreek, uh, Tyreek, Tyreek Black ended up transferring to Texas, but Collins and then, you know, Peoples Jones, he left, he really didn't do much here. Uh, I guess it was just injuries, but you know, they got Nico Collins and they got, you know, a few other uh, receivers out there as well too, um, that Josh Gaddis just put that, uh, high video up about man but they got the talent you know what i'm saying they got the talent on both sides of the ball they returning 10 starters on defense um the d-line improved from uh the year before last to last year it's just a quarterback play it just ain't been there you know they got to get the quarterback play he trying to get that quarterback from usc uh they lost his job to a true freshman but i just think he need to hone in on, on developing dylan mccaffrey or, or, or joe milton you know what i'm saying and um one of them two guys is going to have to be the ticket there. Harbaugh is just like recycling quarterbacks. You know, he got Will and Spate from somewhere. He got Jeff O'Corn from Houston. He got uh, um, Shea Patterson from Mississippi. Oh, Miss, excuse me. Uh, he just keep recycling them, man. Keep recycling them, man. Keep recycling. He got to get a quarterback and develop them. But they got the skill positions. They got the receivers. They got the, the, the linebackers. You know, Josh Gaddis seemed to be a respectable offensive coordinator. I think he's going to do a lot more. I think Shea Patterson uh, really, really held him back last year from what he could do. So I, I do think this team is close to, on the cusp of, of, of playoff contention. But obviously, when you're talking about playoff contention, you're talking about finally winning the Big Ten title and winning a big game, and that's beating Ohio State. That's what you're looking at right now. They have to beat Ohio State. They have to win a Big Ten title. They got to continue to beat uh, they can't have those games they have versus Wisconsin. They got to knock Wisconsin dick in the dirt. They got to dominate. They got to dominate their division first for them to be in the position to be on the cusp of, of a national championship or a playoff berth. But I just think if they have better quarterback play, you know, that elevates everything. That's the most important position on the football field. They have to, they have to find that quarterback that can be the difference. Alabama, they got done with the Greg McElroy's, the John Parker Wilson's and, you know, uh, A.J. McCarrens, they bossed up and got Tua, an elite talent. LSU found out, Joe Burrows, you got to have an elite, talented quarterback to be in the playoffs. Marcus Mariota, Jameis Winston, you keep going on and on with these, these dudes that's, that's winning the national championship. Last year, you had Burrows, you had um, Trevor Lawrence. This year, you know, uh, J Justin Fields was in it. Jalen Hurts was there. You have to have an elite quarterback to be there and that covers up a lot of deficiencies the, the, the excuse me Wolverines got the talent you know then you kind of talk about the defensive side of the ball when people couldn't pick up their blitzes and they couldn't deal with their man defense they struggled with Michigan defenses when they was able to pick up the blitzes and deal with the man the man then they was able to rip Michigan apart but that's due to the Michigan offense not being able to put points up on the board and struggling and going down there kicking field goals and quarterbacks fumbling and throwing picks that's the difference does Don Brown need to call more zone? Absolutely, he need to call more zone and more mix it up. You know, but he's done his part. The offense don't carry the defense. The defense carried Michigan a lot, a lot of that, a lot of points of last season. You know what I'm saying? Charbonnet is is is, is going to be a, have more closer to his man body next year. You get the other running back back that was suspended. I forget his name. I'm going to say his name. Chris Evans could be wrong. The offensive line, they fixed it. Shea Patterson just wasn't a good quarterback. That's the difference. If you get elite quarterback play from McCaffrey or Melt next year and they stay healthy, Michigan got a chance to beat Ohio State. They got a chance to beat Wisconsin. They got a chance to keep smashing Michigan State, little brother ass. But Harbaugh also makes some questionable decisions. You know what I'm saying? He just don't seem to be able to manage the game the right way. The Penn State game where I think Nico Collins dropped the ball in the end zone. You know, you're surprised that the ball is on the numbers and it's, and it's accurate because Shea Patterson is so erratic with his accuracy. Harbaugh was, was brought here to develop and get us an elite quarterback, and he has all he's done is recycle quarterbacks. 
the quarterback position is the, the most important. It's the final key for them to be on the cusp of that. Fields, even Wisconsin, they had never be a national championship contender with those raggedy quarterbacks that they had. That's why Wisconsin, That's why Ohio State run the Big Ten right now. And I hate to say it, their quarterback play is elite. They got a quarterback-friendly system that produces results on the college level. Maybe not the pro level, but on the college level, it produces results. But, you know, as far as the things that got to go right, as far as them to be on that level, quarterback is number one. Two is the is a hardball ability to manage the game a lot better than he has been managing it. And three, Don Brown has to, you know, mix up more man with zone. Now, don't give me the combination. Show me some zone. Play a little bit of cover three, cover four. Disguise the cover four. Disguise cover two. You know, play some robber. Play some more man and zone mix. But still keep aggressive. Learn how to zone blitz. Those are three things that got to go right. And plus the fourth, the fourth one, you got to be healthy. You got to be healthy. So in my humble opinion, I do think they're on the cusp of national championship. No, this team is like 47 and only 18 losses. Hardball has has done what Michigan has been over the last 20 years. It's been an average middle of the road. You know, it's been a second tier, uh, a second tier national uh, contender. You know, it's not tier one, we you know, with Alabama, Ohio State. Those are like the tier one. It's the next tier. And that's what Michigan has probably been over the course of its time. It's never been a dominant program, even though we proceed to be a football a football school. It's more of a basketball school. Basketball has been more dominant since the 80s. But Harbaugh has got this team on the cusp of playoff contention and national championship contention. It's just a quarterback. The quarterback can change it all. They got the skill positions. Had a good tight end, Eubanks, last year. Nico Collins, Tyreek Black. You had all these different receivers out there. The, the one place they hurt last year was the running back position. Charbonnet, and then they start playing the other dude. They probably start giving him some run. But Charbonnet was a four-star coming out of California. I think with him healing up and getting used to the grind and, and getting stronger in the weight room, Charbonnet going to be a star at the backfield. They was virtually playing two running backs last year. So now... They're going to have multiple running backs. they still going to bring back some really good receivers. You bring back 10 starters on defense. The talent is there. You see in the draft, Chase Winovich is balling over New England. New England took another Michigan player. Uh, forget the guy. He was like a part-time starter last year. The, the Michigan got talent. It's just being underutilized or mis, mis, misused. And a lot of that got to do with the quarterback. The quarterback, it hurts every aspect of the game. Him missing throws, him throwing picks, him fumbling the ball. The last few quarterbacks, the best one they had was it was uh on a guy they got the first you no know, they played for the guy from Iowa, I forget his name, Jake Rudock. That was the best quarterback they had. Everybody else, William Spake started off good. I thought he was shaving points versus Iowa, but he just sucked. Um Jeff O'Corn wasn't that good. Shea Patterson perhaps was the worst since Jeff O'Corn. So we at the point where we, we got to develop a quarterback. We got to get a superstar quarterback back there. And if they able to get that quarterback back there, may it be Milton with his big arm, McCaffrey with his good genetics. I think Michigan got an opportunity to, to actually do something next year because the talent is everywhere on this football team. It's just not at the quarterback position, the most important position. They're going to get some help at running back this year too. You know, so we'll see, man. But I do think the Michigan is on the cusp of national title contention. But, hey, you got to get past Ohio State. And the way they're going to get past Ohio State is with a quarterback. You know, but they're going to be on another level this year too, Ohio State. They got a lot of talent. They recruit well. And one of the reasons they were saying that is because they allow online classes. Michigan is one of the power conference schools that don't allow online classes. You know, they recruit well. But once again, Ryan Day is living off uh, Urban, Her- Urban Myers. So let's see in three or four years where Ryan Day is at recruiting that program. But, you know, this year, Michigan might have a good chance of beating them. They got a lot of starters coming back. It all boiled down to what I said. The quarterback play, hardball game management, Don Brown mixing up his defense and health. So let me know what you guys think about uh, hardball's comments. But I agree. If they get that quarterback play, it's on and popping. Don't forget you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you got business questions, quality response, video requests. Want to make a donation to the channel, cash out, PayPal in the description. Um, best way to donate is share the video. Other than that, if you need to reach out, Twitter is the fastest way. Um, I get those messages instantly. 
But uh, Facebook, Instagram, I eventually get them. But I appreciate it. Let me know what you guys think about the video. I'll put the article link in the description one time for the one time. We gone.